important characteristic of Earth's atmosphere is its pressure as it often determines wind and weather patterns across the globe. By definition, atmospheric or air pressure is the force per unit of area exerted on the Earth's surface by the weight of the air above the surface. The force exerted by an air mass is created by the molecules that make it up and their size, motion, and number present in the air. These are important factors because they determine the temperature and density of the air and thus its pressure. Molecules are significant for measuring air pressure because if the number of air molecules above a surface increases, there are more molecules to exert pressure on a surface and total atmospheric pressure increases. By contrast, if the number of molecules decreases, so too does the air pressure. Low and high pressure. Air pressure is not uniform across the Earth, however. The normal range of Earth's air pressure is from 980 millibars mb to 1050 mb. These differences are the result of low and high air pressure systems, which are caused by an equal heating across the Earth's surface and the pressure gradient force. A low pressure system, or low is an area where the atmospheric pressure is lower than that of areas surrounding it. Lows are usually associated with high winds, warm air, and atmospheric lifting. Because of this lows normally produce clouds, precipitation, and other bad weather such as tropical storms and cyclo. Conversely, the high pressure system, or high is an area where the atmospheric pressure is greater than that of the surrounding area. In some places highs are referred to as anticyclones. These move clockwise in the northern hemisphere and counterclockwise in the southern due to the Coriolis effect. High pressure areas are normally caused by a phenomenon called subsidence, meaning that as the air in the high cools it becomes denser and moves toward the ground. Pressure increases here because more air fills the space left from the low. Unlike areas of low pressure, the absence of clouds means that areas prone to high pressure experience extremes and diurnal and seasonal temperatures since there are no clouds to block incoming solar radiation or trap outgoing long wave rate. The tropical cyclone is a storm system characterized by large low pressure center and numerous thunderstorms that produce strong wind and heavy rain. Tropical cyclones spread from the water evaporate from the ocean and release as the saturated air rises, resulting in condensation of water vapor contained in the moist air, as then leads to the destruction you see. This is a hurricane from the tropical storm in North Atlantic Ocean or the Northeast Pacific Ocean, which has a record of mass destruction like Hurricane Katrina. This is not what comes to your mind when you get to the tropical storm. Instead you'd probably be thinking of a tornado, another variant of tropical storms. It is a violent, dangerous, rotating column of air that is in contact with both the surface of the Earth and the cumulonimbus cloud, or in rare cases, the base of the cumulus cloud. Here is a video clip of a tornado in action in the countryside, provided by National Geographic. For watching this video clip made by Talhawani, John Abraham, Srash Ali, Hussein Gardazi, and Ali Gardazi.